Hi, and welcome back. Um, this would be part three. Now, it's, I know it might seem like the first two pieces were kind of fast and kind of sloppy, kind of putting together, but I'm trying to keep it somewhat simple, but try to give you as much detail as possible. Again, if there's any questions, something that's not clear, you can shoot me an email, put a comment. Um, if I don't get back to you within a quick, um, a fast enough time, you can go to php.net and look up some stuff. You can even go to the MySQL web website and look at some information. So, that being said, let's go ahead and let's get back to what we did. Okay, we made it. We made this database. We got an ID, your first name, a last name, and an age, which is great. But there's nothing inside this this database. So we need, or excuse me, this table. We need to put something into it. So we'll click on insert. For ID, we have this auto increment, so we don't need nothing. Um, for instance, it's automatically going to give you a one, and then the next record is going to be two, so on and so forth. So we'll put in, uh, oops, we'll put in my name, Jeremy Lincoln, and my age. I'm getting old, 35. And let's put in, let's say Nathan Lincoln, my youngest. He was nine. And we are done with all this. Yeah, we're done. So we'll hit uh, go. Okay. So everything looks good. We'll go. No, not structure. We'll go to browse. And as you can see, again, we have our names, last names, ages, and the IDs, like I said, with auto, auto increment. So now you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, wow, this is neat. I made a I made a database, made a table inside of the database. I put some stuff into it. Now how does this relate to PHP? Well, the nice thing about this is that we can pull some of this information out of this back to the page itself. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to walk through the steps. Do we even just try to do get connected to this database in PHP before we even worry about trying to pull things out. Okay, so we're going to get rid of all this, this junk. Now we're going to start off just like any PHP stuff, you know, we're opening closed tags. So what we need first off is a, a variable. And this variable we're going to use to set up the connection to the database okay and so we'll just call it DB I guess okay and now this might look kind of weird so I'll just kind of type it out actually this one's actually kind of self-explanatory I, I would I think so mysql underscore connect now this takes three parameters and the parameters are going to be the um, the server or host, so it's going to be the host here. Here's going to be the username and password. Well, since I'm using um, WAMP, mine is localhost. Yours might be the same as well. Um, username is password, or username is password. Username is root. And for the password, I don't have one. Which I don't recommend. You should always have a password, but this is on my local machine, and well, I'm not putting nothing really special on it, so it's all right. Okay, so we have this set up, which is okay. Yay, this is kind of cool. But how do we know this actually works or not? Well, one way we can do it is go to um, localhost. That's under toots. I have no errors, so that shows that it's good. But what I like to do is actually see it work and just follow me one second so I'm going to do an if statement to see if this actually is working so I'm going to say if not the database which that doesn't make a whole lot of sense but you'll see what I'm talking about so, so if I can't connect and then I want to go ahead and echo something like connection failed but if I do make it, then go ahead and echo out. Can 
connection made you ah, connection made you rock okay so well, we'll go back to our chrome we'll refresh oh we got an error did I forget to do something I probably did yes I did look at that. Some colons. idiot I tell you hmm Blah 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 blah. Uh, da, da, da. That's, that should work. Let's see. Connection made. You rock. Okay. So no, we have actually made um, a connection to our database. No, oh, cool. All right. So now our next step is to uh, connect to the table. So we can do. Um, <laughs> what is it? MySQL underscore select underscore DB for database. And the database we're going to connect to is, um, is, uh, no, 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 wait. It's people? Yeah. It's our database, not our table. We're going to use um, an or die statement here. It's kind of like an if else. And so I can say if I connect, if I don't do this, do that. But I'm going to say basically this is built in through. Uh, so it's just going to help us out. So I'm going to put it that in. We'll just say connection uh, cannot. Well, I'm going to say connection to database has failed. Uh -huh, you loser. Okay. <laughs> so, that's what, so that looks good. We'll hit refresh. Hey, I think that looks good so far. We didn't have a problem. Now, to show that there was a problem, let's get rid of the database. It was a connection to database failed. Ha ha, loser. Okay. So we got that, we got that, we got that. So one more thing before I, I kind of stop before we go into something else is um, let's go ahead and let's run a quick uh, query. So we're going to make a variable oddly enough code. We're going to call it query. And this query is going to do a um, select star from person table. Okay. And to actually run this we're going to make another one called result. Mm, oops. Uh, result. We're going to say MySQL. MySQL query. Let's get this thing to run. Then we're going to put in a query that we just wrote up above. Okay, so far that looks good. And let's see how many rows are there. There should be two, but. We'll say rows equals my SQL underscore num rows. And for this one, we're going to put in, since we got our query here, and we're going to, we have a, another available results, and we're going to run the MySQL query, which is going to run our query up here, put in, sort in this variable called the results, and then now we're going to use this results variable to see how many rows or are in this and that query we wrote. Oops, not that simple. Result. Oops. If I can spell today, that'd be nice. I forgot the S. Result. Okay, and the only thing we got to do now is um, let's echo out the number. So, da, 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 echo, we're going to say just echo the numbers, I guess. Should work. Oh, most importantly, it's when you get done, you should always close out your connections and just free up your resources and what and all that good stuff. I'm saying that. I'll hit refresh. Oh no, got a problem. Ha. I'm so used to calling this dumb rows. I called it dumb rows, and I this time I only called it rows. I'll say that. Refresh, and I still have a problem. What the crap? And it's not rows. I just called it row. Oh my lord! I tell ya. Get with it, kid. There we go. We have two 
so again this was kind of fairly quick but what we did was is we made we established our, our well we set up our connection to our database we did this quick little check to see if we you know made it or not then we used the other uh, built-in MySQL select da uh, database to connect to our database table called people and if it couldn't we just would echo out this little string right here we set up our qu our query to basically what this query says I guess I didn't say that is select everything from person and then we're gonna we made another variable called results and what this one is gonna store is the of the well, actual the run the run of the query itself and then our next variable like I said was rows and we used the MySQL num rows to see how many rows were in this query then we just echoed out how many there were then we close our connection so there's I think that covered everything I might go over this one more time in a later video um, just uh, maybe a little bit slower and ho hopefully this does get you kind of started and um, hope you guys have a great day don't forget to subscribe like dislike leave comments mean nice rude whatever and you guys have a good one okay and then bye-bye.